Scientists Deng Jiaxian and Guo Yonghui have made great contributions to China's development. After the founding of the People's Republic of China in 1949, they returned to the country from abroad and worked on the two bombs and one satellite project. It was a major achievement for China, showing the country's efforts to develop its own nuclear and space technologies. Deng Jiaxian was at the front line of atomic bomb testing for years. After an accident while conducting an airdrop test of a hydrogen bomb in 1979, Deng rushed to the spot to examine the fragments. He then suffered from radiation sickness and died at the age of 62 in July 1986. In December 1968, Guo Yonghui was traveling to Beijing from the Qinghai nuclear test base preparing for the test launch of China's first thermonuclear missile when his plane crashed. Guo died at the age of 59. He was found tightly holding a briefcase containing newly recorded data. Another great contributor to China's development was senior engineer Luo Yang. He devoted his life to creating the country's own aircraft carrier and designed Chinese warplanes. In November 2012, he successfully commanded the J-15 fighter jet's debut, landing aboard China's first aircraft carrier. Days later, he died of a heart attack at the age of 51. Shen Liang Liang with the Chinese peacekeeping force in Mali was awarded the title Hero of the People. He was killed in 2016 during a terrorist attack when he stopped a car carrying more than 500 kilograms of dynamite. In the 37 seconds before the car blew up, he saved his colleagues. Shen was only 29 years old. Zhang Chao served as a pilot in the aircraft unit of the People's Liberation Army's Navy. In April 2016, he ran into sudden air danger during a mission, and the jet began to lose control. Zhang did his best to keep control of the aircraft, but he was forced to parachute out and hit the ground heavily. He died at the age of 29.